Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Chief News. Today is July the 28th, 2021. Definitely want to do a huge shout out to all of our trap watchers who are out in the cryptocurrency space, proudly looking around to see where we can make some money. Today's video is going to be about Monero. You guys can tell from our last price prediction, it didn't go right. So we're going to talk about that, see what we can learn from it so that we can make sure that we are in better position ahead of the game. So if you guys want to join our YouTube channel, if you guys want to join this community, you're more than welcome to. The doors are open. You can hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe here to the channel. We're not one of these regular YouTube channels that is out here just trying to pump coins that's always telling you that this coin is going to 10x, 100x your money. It doesn't play that way. So we're not going to give you that type of information. We want to give you some valuable information that you can actually utilize and that you can benefit from. And for us, that is about the price and where price is going to go. So if today is your first time seeing our video. Make sure you hit that like button, share and subscribe here to our channel as we continue to grow here within this space. So now Monero, here it is. You guys can tell visually that we don't hide anything from the people in our community. We told everyone back here on June the 15th that, yeah, we can see the strength into the market and Monero go higher in price. Following that prediction, it didn't go that way. The market over the last, what, four trading days after we started that price prediction just traded sideways. And then right here on June the 21st, six days into us doing the price prediction, the market went lower massively to the downside. I mean, on that particular day, the market went down 22, almost 23 percent on June the 21st. So now it didn't go right. At what point would you have thought to yourself, OK, we expected the price to go higher. So our main concern would have to be right here. OK, from the outset of us creating a price prediction, we expected the price to go higher. Right. But as you see from June the 16th all the way until June the 20th, there has not been any indication that the trap was willing to was willing to increase this price. It wasn't there. Instead, we saw nothing but more selling and stockpile coming into the market. And it was right here at this restriction point. So we already understood that. Yeah, even though we're expecting this price to go higher, but take a look. This area was a plague on the market strength. The price in Monero could not break even above two hundred and eighty dollars. That was a major issue. And as you can tell, it failed all of the days that we've seen after we completed our price prediction. The market tried to break above 280. There's no doubt about it. It just didn't make it up there. It just wasn't successful. And that's why on June the 21st, we saw the market in Monero collapse or go lower in price. So it kind of gives you a heads up as to already. OK, yeah, you wanted the market price to go higher. That was our prediction. But then you see that as the days went on, that we saw more weakness, lack of interest, lack of demand coming to the market in Monero. And then eventually we saw that move to the downside right there so let's go ahead and take that away and let's see what the trap is up to next see where the money is going right we want to see where the money is going to go so that we can be in position and capitalize from it so real quick if we were to get out right now into the market in Monero we'll be down about 18.42 percent right at the very low was around 35 percent okay because I wanted to show you that as I zoom out on this price chart, take a look at the price in Monero. What is the trend? What is the overall market direction in Monero? Like, be careful of anyone that tries to make this confusing. This price in Monero is still in an upward trend. No doubt about it. It's in a very supported upward trend. This is the long term outlook right there. Just follow the ascending line as the price in Monero continues to trade and we continue to see it confirm that it wants to bounce off that ascending line. We already know where the price is going to go. So when the market in Monero came all the way down here on July the 21st, 2021, how many of you all was able to pick up Monero around that price around one hundred eighty dollars? Because that was support. That was the cheapest that you can come in and buy Monero in order to see the market price appreciate for this currency right there. 
because you're also seeing that the ability of the market in Monero in the long term is higher prices. So, so far, yeah, the trend in Monero for the long term is still to see higher price movement. There's no confusion about that right there. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the price in Monero now on a three day time frame. OK, so this is Monero right here on a three day time frame. I can already see where the next problem will be in Monero in order for us for us to see higher prices. And it's right there around $240, okay? So let me show you on the five day. This is the five day time frame in Monero. And one of the things that I can tell on the three day and the five day time frame is that, yeah, there's some selling going on in the market in Monero. It's not a very strong bullish market right now in Monero. It's just not being revealed yet. What about on the weekly time frame? So you all can see it here that the market in Monero is showing some lack of interest still. So we're not free selling right now in the market in Monero for us to see a continuation of big movement to the upside. Not yet. What's going on in the market for Monero on the two day time frame? I mean, you guys can see it right here on the last completed two day price bar increase in volume as well as us closing off highs. Definitely lets us know that someone sold some Monero right there around that 225 to 240 price level. It's just right there. So now the question is, can we still see the market in Monero progress higher? That's the question. And right now we're looking at the market in Monero right here on the 13 hour time frame. And I'm telling you that, yeah, the market has been selling over the last couple of 13 hour price bars, but looking at the result, looking at how the market was able to reclaim higher price in the midst of the market selling lets me know that there's still the interest of this market in Monero to try to go higher in price. It's still there. It's still on the table. But we don't have far to go. We got 240 as our first point to see increase in selling and then 260 will be the next one. So we still need to be careful. We still need to be on guard to see if the market in Monero is going to be able to really reclaim that ability to go higher. All right. So let me show you all this, too. Because I want to show you all that we are in an upward trend, even on an hourly time frame. OK, so we're not going to be confused. The trend is still one of higher prices in Monero, and we're going to continue to play that so far as the price is able to hold support at two locations. The first one is we cannot see the price in Monero break below $200 anymore in order for us to continue to go higher price. Secondly, the next area of support that is closer is 220. I like 220 better to be maintained as support in order for us to really see a bigger move to the upside. But if he's not able to hold support in Monero around 220, I'm cool with the market coming back down to 200 too though. Okay. Now the trend is still in play. So all everything that we're seeing, everything that I'm saying to you all on this particular video is still showing forth that the market in Monero still wants to progress higher. Okay. So what we're going to do on this particular video is that, yeah, we're going to play the strength into the market for Monero. Okay. So let me do this here. Let me get rid of this ascending line there. Now, originally I told you that 220 would be better for us to see support, right? But I'm going to bring it all the way down here to around $200 in the market in Monero. My first area to take some profits off the table would be right there around 240. Okay. Which is not much. It's only about 7% profitability. And then right there around 280. Let me take this back over to the 13 hour. I'm gonna do it around 260. I can see 280, but that might be a longer term prediction into the market for Monero. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna bring it up there to around 280. Now these are the three areas that I would take profits off the table. First one is 240. 
260 and then 280 ultimately into the market in Monero. Now, considering how we've already been in a downtrend, these areas that I'm giving you 240 to 260 definitely needs to see continuation of strength and interest into the market because if it starts waning, then don't expect that market price in Monero to come up to 280. Okay, so that's it. This is our expectations as to where the market in Monero is trying to go. This is where the money is headed from our perspective. Now it's your turn. I want you all to tell me what do you all see on the price charts, right? We're supposed to be on the lookout to see where the money is going so that we can get in position and already capitalize from it. So drop me a comment in the comment section and tell me where do you all see the price in Monero going in the next three weeks, right? Try to see how fast we can catch the market, capitalize on the profit, and move on to the next play. So let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability, and as always, trade different.